What is going on YouTube? I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in purchasing my book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. All right, so here in the United States, there are two different ways or two different surveys that people took in order to define what rich is here in the United States. And there are two definitions. One is a net worth of $2.2 million or more. And the other is an income of $500,000 or more. And that is what is considered to be rich. In the United States, only 2% of the population by those standards is considered wealthy. So I want to talk to you guys. You know, I'm a, I'm a simple-minded person. I think that a lot of people are simple-minded, not I don't mean dumb. I just mean like, let's just talk about things in a very basic understanding. Let's not turn it into some sort of listening to some professor on economics in a classroom that is dull and boring and slow and dry and you're falling asleep at your seat. Let's talk about finances in a very simple terms. Poor people continue to be poor by pretending to be rich, and rich people grow their wealth by pretending to be poor. If you all know me and have been watching me on my channel, um, I am a I'm a millionaire, but whoop de doo It doesn't really mean like for starters, it doesn't mean what it meant five years ago to be a millionaire. It's not really uh, as big of a deal as it used to be. Yet, you know, only a very small percentage of people are able to accumulate that wealth. And I get made fun of a lot, and I don't mind because I know it's from from foolish people, but I get made fun of a lot for living such a low, like a, such a low spending lifestyle. And what I'm really doing is I'm being a copycat. I'm copying people. Um, if you want to be poor, do what poor people do. If you want to be rich, do what rich people do. Now, I don't have a large income. I have an average income. Very average here in the United States. It's not it's not huge. It's not it's did I hit six figures? I don't think I did. Um but I don't have a huge income, but I have a large net worth because um I live on so little. I live on so little and I work so much that it leaves me with a huge margin in the center. And with that margin in the center, with what most people do, their expenses and their, their incomes up here, their expenses are here. What most people do with the margin in the middle is they spend it. I don't. I invest it because I do what rich people do. I don't do what poor people do. If I were to go out and buy a Gucci purse... I'm making Gucci rich. I have a $1,000 purse with $0 in my purse. I would much rather just carry a cheap wallet and have $980 in my wallet than have an expensive purse with nothing in my wallet. I want the money. It's very simple. Why do I want the money? Because money has babies. Money grows money. Purses don't grow purses. Purses don't multiply. Money multiplies. And then the more the money multiplies, the less pressure is put on you to have to continue working at such a hard level in order to continue to accumulate more money that produces more money. What does that mean? It means I can put my, let's say I've got 2000 bucks in the bank. I can put my $2,000 in a checking account that earns no interest. Or I can take my $2,000 and I can put it into an interest earning account that makes me money. And right now, high interest earning accounts are around 4.5%. So out of $2,000 at 4.5%, that's $90 a year. So I'm making $90 a year off of my $2,000, which is $7.50 a month. That doesn't sound like a lot. That can get you a medium-sized coffee at Starbucks. It can get you a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons of gas. But that $7.50 is a lot better than $0.
because if you if it's zero dollars with inflation, you're really getting negative thirty dollars per year. But if if you want to become wealthy, you just have to copy people. You just have to copy what rich people do. Not all people who are millionaires have five hundred thousand dollar a year jobs. That is a misnomer that is an unfactual, that's not facts. That's just what people assume. But if people are making $500,000 a year, it would only take them two years to become a millionaire. So, you know, they should have a hundred, not really a hundred, but they should have, you know, $20 million by the time they retire. And they usually don't. These people who have make a $500,000 income do exactly the same as what somebody who lives on $30,000 a year does. They spend it all. So their wealth doesn't really accumulate. So what, what does that mean for you? It means, in my opinion, you should, at least for a year or two, make as much money as you possibly can. Work like a dog. People don't like to hear that. Yeah, you do have to work in order to make money. Work like a dog for a year and a half to pay off your debt or two years to get ahead and reduce your expenses to as low as they can possibly go. It's time to differentiate needs versus wants. Necessities. What is a necessity? People confuse what a necessity is still to this day. People think internet is a necessity. Like you need the internet to live. (laughs) You know, I could turn off the internet right now and I I don't think I would keel over. I'm pretty sure that I would still be walking around, mowing my lawn, you know, uh, making phone calls, whatever. Uh, People assume, they think, that in this day and age, with all the technology that we have, that a cell phone is a necessity. Like, you need a cell phone to live. I'm pretty sure, you know, my cell phone, well, I'm using it to film, But if I were to take my cell phone, put it in the shed in my backyard, come back in my house, I'm pretty sure my house would still be here. If I put my cell phone in my shed, I think my house would still be standing. I'm pretty sure I would still be standing. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think. You know, I'm not 100% sure. Um, If I have cable, a lot of people consider cable to be a necessity. Think of what would happen to your life if you turned off the cable or just turned off your TV. If you hit the power, I have my TV on in the background. Let me see what happens when I turn off my TV. Hold on. Let's see. I'm still here. It must not be a necessity of life. Look at that. (laughs) How did that happen? People often assume that a car is a necessity in order to live. In order to live, you have to have a car. You have to. Now, I have a car that I hardly ever use. Actually, um, I've been tracking my gasoline usage in my car. And every month... Uh, I fill up on the first of the month and I make my gas last for that entire month, no matter what, no matter what. If I'm visiting somebody far away, I, I, um, it has to be within range of one tank of gas and then I don't use any gas for the rest of the month and then I fill up on the first. This month on the first, I didn't even go to the gas station. I didn't fill up. I still have three quarters of a tank from last month. Go figure. Maybe it's because I walk to the grocery store or I, I ride my bike to the grocery store and people often say, it's so funny, they're like, I live in a rural area. The nearest grocery store is 10 miles away. I can't. I would, I would die if I had to go 10 miles to the grocery store. Really? I mean, would you die? Is it a necessity to have a car? Like, nece- If your car broke down right now in your driveway and you had no alternative form of transportation except a bicycle or your shoes and you needed groceries, you needed food, would you die? I mean, would you literally die riding a bike to the grocery store? No. 
No, 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 no. People really do have big confusions between luxuries and necessity. Do you know, look up the, look up the definition of necessity in order to survive. You need water, food, shelter is even, uh, you can even argue, make an argument over shelter because shelter can be a tent. Shelter can be a tarp. <laughs> so, you know. And then people say, oh, I need I need a four bed, three bath. Anything less than that is, I just, I wouldn't survive. I would die. <laughs> uh, you'll be all right in a studio. All right, folks, I'm going on a tangent here. I don't want to babble too much, but um, if you want to be rich, do what rich people do. Invest your money. Don't, don't, don't reduce your expenses just so you can save $50 on your groceries to go and spend it on something else. Spend that $50 on an asset that's going to make you money or put it into a high interest savings account that's going to make you more money. That's what a rich person would do. A poor person would save 50 bucks on groceries so they can spend the 50 bucks on something else. All right, folks, do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.